Okay, she's running and sounding pretty good, but I still got issues I have to look at. Uh, the uh, radiator's hot, but I don't have a fan shroud, and I do have an overflow on it, but I didn't actually fill it completely full, so I'm not surprised that it's hot. Um, the radiator cap is uh, missing the rubber piece, which needs to be in there for this thing to hold pressure, so that's also having an effect on this. But I don't see any leaks. I don't see any other leaks. Uh, well, that's not really a leak, but yeah. So what I'll do is I'm going to let this stop steaming because I can tell by the overflow pipe here that it's uh, hot. And when that cools off, I'll take that off. I'll run into town and get me a new radiator cap. Uh, yeah, I might need something else. I don't know what I'm thinking about what I might need. Since I'm going into town anyway. But I would say all in all, she runs pretty good. It's just a matter of wiring, timing. Uh, I may flop that distributor off and look down inside of it and see if it matches with the Delco distributor. And if it does, I might swap those right out. Uh, but I don't really need to be touching the motor right now because it's hot, hot down in there. Oh, joy. Uh, I have an old kind of radiator cover that acted as a fan shroud, but I didn't have any confidence in it because uh, it wasn't a real shroud, and I want to build a real shroud for this. And that's going to be a, another project that'll, that'll take me a good part of the day. So no point in uh, no point in rushing along with anything. Now I'm guessing this cap probably isn't holding any pressure, but I don't want to take I don't want to assume that and burn my hands. So let's see if it'll come off. The radiator is also not attached. I repainted the pieces that hold the radiator in, and uh, they're sitting over there on the floor drying. Yeah, see this thing. This thing is missing the rubber seal that goes inside it, and without that rubber seal, it will leak the antifreeze out of it. A car, a radiator has to maintain pressure of. Uh, 14 pounds per square inch because water boils at 100 and, let me see if I get this right. <laughs> see if I can remember this. I'm going to say 120 degrees water boils. Is that right? Or is it 212 degrees? Anyway, water boils at a lower temperature than the car runs. So in order to keep the water from boiling, you pressurize the water, which is the purpose of the radiator cap. Uh, 14 pounds of pressure is enough to allow the car to get up to, say, uh, 180 degrees, which is temp operating temperature, uh, without getting so hot that it blows up the radiator. So it's a pressure relief valve, and it's designed to, with a with a bottle to catch the liquid that comes out of it. It's designed to pull that back in when it cools down. So that won't operate if that piece of rubber ain't in there. Water boils at 120 degrees. That's right, in it. You know, sometimes in my old age, things I know, and I think, is that is that still right? Is, <laughs> is that right? That's, a, that's one of the little joys of getting old. Okay, I'll see y'all in a bit. I got to go to town.